सो हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स ना वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग द नेक्स्ट इम्पोर्टेंट ऑर्गन ऑफ अवर एलिमेंट्री कैनल दैट इज द स्टमक अबाउट द फर्स्ट ऑर्गन दैट इज द बकल कैविटी दैट वी हैव डिस्कस दैन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द एसोफेगस नाउ आफ्टर द एसोफेगस द फूड एंटर्स इन टू द स्टमक दिस इज द स्टमक जस्ट लेट मी जूम इट इफ यू कैन सी इट प्रॉपरली दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द स्टमक दिस इज द स्टमक ओके सो दिस इज ऑल्सो द वाइडेस्ट ऑर्गन ऑफ अवर एलिमेंट्री कैनल एलिमेंट्री कैनल मीन्स द कैनल सॉरी द ऑर्गन्स विच आर uh just uh, taking part in the digest uh, digestion process all the organs uh, these are known as the alimentary canal okay so here you can see stomach is the third organ through which uh, the food goes down so now the food after the esophagus the food is uh, reaching our stomach this is the widest organ and it is just j shaped like okay you can see the shape of uh, uh, the stomach it is j shaped like it is just like the uh, shape of uh, j okay so this is the stomach okay so inside the stomach what is there inside the stomach if you can see inside the stomach there are uh, small small lining inside the stomach there is small small lining and these lining just secretes mucus the linings which are there inside the stomach these lining secrete or just emits or just gives they are just secreting what they are secreting they are secreting the mucus they are secreting the hydrochloric acids they are secreting uh, the digestive juices inside the stomach okay and these are helping uh, somehow in uh, just in in the digestion process so this is the function of the stomach so let's study the function of the stomach so let me write it here the stomach is uh, j shaped it is j shaped it is j shaped and it has some inner lining also and the it is also the widest part of our elementary canal okay it has some inner linings uh you can say the inner linings the inner linings of stomach secretes what does it secrete the inner lining of the stomach secretes mucus it secretes uh, you can say uh, it secretes mucus at the uh, same time it secretes uh, hydrochloric acids hydrochloric acid it secretes hydrochloric acid and it secretes some other digestive juices digestive juices so these are the things which is secreted by the inner lining of the stomach and if i talk about why does it secrete the mucus it secrete the mucus to protect uh, the stomach uh, from the acid because the acid that is being secreted by the stomach that is hydrochloric acid so it is very harmful okay uh, it can damage the whole organ okay so this whole organ is just safe due to this mucus this mucus uh, just uh, helps in this process okay it uh, it just uh, save the inner lining of the stomach from the harmful acid that is hydrochloric acid okay so you can write uh, the mucus protect the inner lining of the stomach okay here i am writing the mucus protect the inner lining of the stomach the inner lining of the stomach are being protected by the mucus which is again secreted by the uh, stomach okay and at the same time the stomach the inner lining of the stomach secretes hydrochloric acid what the, what is the function of the hydrochloric acid why does it secrete this hydrochloric acid this hydrochloric acid is being secreted to kill the bacteria if some of the bacteria which are uh, present there in the food that you are eating from the mouth cavity sorry buccal cavity then from the esophagus so there are still some bacteria which which are there in uh, in the food in the food particles if those bacteria can harm your stomach and other organs so this hydrochloric acid which is being secreted by the stomach helps in killing those bacteria so the hydrochloric acid kills the bacteria which are coming with the food in your stomach okay so acl kills bacteria and makes the medium acidic also because acl that is hydrochloric acid is acid in nature so it makes the medium the food that is entering uh, in the stomach it makes uh, the food acidic now 
ओके सो दैट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड सो आई एम राइटिंग हेयर हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड किल्स द बैक्टीरिया हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड किल्स द बैक्टीरिया इट इट जस्ट किल्स द बैक्टीरिया एंड मेक्स द मीडियम एसिड and makes the medium acid so this is the function of the hydrochloric acid now one more thing that is being secreted by the stomach is the digestive juices there are some other digestive juices uh, which are being secreted by the stomach and these digestive juices helps in uh, in in the digestion process or uh, you can say they just uh, Uh, just uh, break down the protein that is uh, present in the food that you are eating uh, some protein is there so the digestive which are being secreted by the stomach it uh, it just help in breaking down those protein into simpler one okay so you can say digestive uh, break down the protein into simpler one digestive juices break down the protein okay means the protein somehow the protein is being digest uh, is being digested in the stomach digested in the stomach okay so this is the function and this is all about the stomach okay now uh, see there is an in interesting story about the discovery of the of the of the what can i say this discovery of stomach so here is an interesting story about the discovery how was this discovered how was the stomach discovered so there is an interesting story what happens uh, there was a man uh, named as uh, alexis saint martin what what was, what was the name of the person alexis saint martin okay alexis saint martin so uh, what happened uh, the alexis saint uh, sorry alexis saint martin was uh, badly um, hit by a shotgun gun you must be knowing na yeah so the person that i was just right now naming was alexis saint martin was hit by a shotgun okay so uh, it was badly hit by a shotgun okay so uh, later on it just uh, brought uh, to an american doctor when the person that is uh, the alexis saint martin was hit by a shotgun uh, then after that he brought uh, to an uh, american doctor known as uh, what can i say william beaumont so let me write the name of the person William, William Beaumont, William Beaumont, B E A U M O N T. So this was the name of the person, William Beaumont. So uh, this was the doctor. He was the he was a doctor. So the person who was hit uh, by the shotgun was uh, brought to this doctor uh, named as uh, William Beaumont. Uh, so uh, when uh, he just uh, tried to uh, pull out that hit. okay uh, so when the person that was uh, named as alexis saint martin was brought to this doctor so he he just uh, pull out uh, the hit uh, that is that was uh, there uh, that was there in the stomach uh, area of uh, the person he just pull this uh, hit out uh, and but later there was still a hole so let's say this was the person and here was the hit okay he just uh, pull out the hit but uh, when he pull out there was a hole and it was continuously bleeding it was continuously bleeding then later he tried to seal it off so when he uh, he was uh, trying to seal it off then uh, he just uh, inside this hole he discovered one organ which was just uh, churning uh, uh, the, the churning the food means the churning of food was taking place inside the hole so this was the stomach this was the stomach okay so this uh, was happened in the year of 1822 uh, okay so in the year of 1822 william beaumont discovered this stomach how uh, how did he discover this uh, stomach because the person who was brought to him he was uh, having a heat air and when the person uh, that is uh, william beaumont uh, took out uh, the heat from the person there was a hole okay when he uh, and it was bleeding again and when he tried to seal it off then inside the hole he just looked there there was a organ there was an organ with the, where the churning of food was taking place and this was the organ uh, named as stomach named as 
stomach so this is how uh, the stomach was discovered uh, in the year 1822 by william beaumont okay so this was all about stomach now we would be reading about the next organ of our uh, the of our you can say the digestive system the next organ because uh, when the food reaches to our stomach then uh, all the things are happening in the stomach then after that the food enters into the small intestine this is the small intestine let me uh, just show you the structure of small intestine this is the small intestine so after the stomach uh, the food enters into your small intestine now this small intestine has three parts let me erase it uh, let me erase this if you have noted it down let me erase this then now the next organ we are talking about that is the small intestine small intestine let me tell you small intestine <clears throat> small intestine now if you see the small intestine has three parts this is the small intestine the yellow color structure small coiled like structure you can see here so this is known as the small intestine so this is small intestine has three parts it has three regions okay uh, small intestine has three parts three parts okay it has it has three parts the front part of the small intestine is the complete is in small intestine is divided into three parts uh, the front part uh, would be called the front part means where the food is entering right now the front part this would be the front part so front part would be called uh, the duodenum the front part would be called the duodenum duodenum so duodenum this is the front part front part and the second part that is the middle part the middle part of the small intestine would be called the jejunum okay so this is the second part that is the middle part jejunum so this is the middle part of our small intestine and then there there is, there is the third part that would be the last part of the small intestine and would be called as the ileum would be called as the ileum ileum so this is the last part last part of the small so this is how the small intestine has been divided into three regions or the three parts you can see the front part of the small intestine small intestine, the yellow colored one i am just talking about okay <clears throat> the front yellow part would be called the duodenum and the middle part would be called the jejunum and the last part would be called the ileum so these are the three parts of the small intestine and these three all the three parts of the small intestine has the different different function if i ask you about the uh, function of the duodenum so uh, the duodenum that is the first part here so when the food enters from stomach into the duodenum so there some digestion process uh, takes place the food that is entering from the stomach to the uh, duodenum part of the small intestine the that one food is called as chyme okay so that food is being digested by some juices that are being secreted some by liver this liver secret a juice that is known as the bile juice and it stored this bile juice in this gall bladder okay then later when the food reaches into your duodenum part this uh, green colored structure also called the gall bladder it contains bile juice which is secreted by the liver this is liver the red colored one you are, can see here brown brown color okay this is the liver liver is also the largest organ of your body okay so this liver secretes uh, bile juice and uh, it it just gets stored in this uh, green colored structure which you can see that is the gall bladder so when the food enters into the duodenum the gall bladder secretes the bile juice and it uh, just goes into the duodenum part at the same time there are pancreas down to some of the creamy colored structure you can see down to the stomach this is the creamy colored structure so this is called the pancreas so these pancreas also secreting the pancreatic juice or the digestive juice you can say so both these juices are helping in the digestion process in the duodenum part duodenum part of the small intestine that is the front front part of the small intestine so this is the function of the duodenum okay so let me tell you about uh, in uh, brief the function of duodenum jejunum and ileum okay so if i ask you about the duodenum so duodenum receive the partially digested food so let me write here duodenum duodenum receives duodenum receives receives the partially digested 
food or also called as chime so this chime is what this chime is the food that is coming from the stomach one part okay so this undigested food the partially digestion partial digestion has taken place in the stomach now some of the food is still undigested so this partially undigested food would be called the chyme so this chyme enters into the small intestine first it would enter in the front part of the small intestine so this front part of the small intestine would be called the duodenum so in the duodenum the food when the chyme uh, or that undigested food from the stomach reaches to the duodenum part so here the digestion uh, process again uh, begins so how the digestion process will took place uh, here will take place here because the digestion process will take place uh, with the help of the juice that is coming out from this gallbladder that is bile juice and some of the digestive that is coming out from this pancreas that is pancreatic juice so these two or three kind of juices are helping in the digestion process or of the undigested food in the duodenum part okay so the chyme from the stomach from the stomach okay so uh, the duodenum receives the partially undigested food or chyme uh, from the stomach it also receives bile from the uh, gallbladder it also receives bile juice from gallbladder bile juice from gallbladder and digestive enzymes uh, some from the pancreas okay and digestive enzymes for, from pancreas okay so as the food that is also called the chyme enters in the front part of the small intestine also called the duodenum so here the digestion will to will take place with the help of the juice that is being secreted by the gallbladder that is bile juice and the juice that is being secreted by the pancreas that is the digestive juices so both the juices are helping in the digestion process in the front part of the small intestine known as duodenum getting this now when the digestion process uh, it just gets completed then after the food uh goes from the front part to the middle part of the small intestine uh, known as the jejunum okay so now what happens in the jejunum let's discuss there okay so first let me raise this you keep writing if you have written let me raise let me discuss about the second part of the small intestine that is the jejunum okay so what happens in the jejunum the jejunum absorbs the fully digested food because from the duodenum the food has been digested now so now the digested food just enter into the middle part called the jejunum so this jejunum again it it just absorb now it will absorb the digested food and it send into all parts of your body then okay so this will take place in the jejunum okay the jejunum absorbs the jejunum absorbs the fully digested food how does it absorb like suppose this is jejunum this is this is jejunum so inside the jejunum there are small villi like structure like villi finger finger like structure these finger like structure are there in the jejunum part okay these finger like structure okay so these finger like structure these finger like structure inside the jejunum part here middle part so these finger when the food now and the digested food from the ileum enters into the jejunum part so uh, all the components which has been digested like protein carbohydrate uh, vitamins etc all has been or minerals all has all have been digested uh, by the duodenum part so now the di completely digested food enters in the middle part that is called the uh, jejunum so here the finger like structure inside the jejunum absorb the digested food particles and send these food particles with the help of the blood to all the organs of the body this small finger like structure are known as the villi v i l l i villi so these villi helps in the absorption of the digested food particles okay these are helping in the uh, process of absorption of the absorption of the uh, digested food particles okay so this is the function of the jejunum so here the absorb 
एब्जॉर्ब्स इट एब्जॉर्ब्स राइट है इट एब्जॉर्ब्स द फुली डाइजेस्टेड फूड व्हाट हु इज एब्जॉर्बिंग जेजनम ओके सो इट एब्जॉर्ब्स द फुली डाइजेस्टेड फूड विद द हेल्प ऑफ फिंगर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर विद द हेल्प ऑफ फिंगर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर कॉल विलाई सो दिस विलाई हेल्प इन द एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ द फूड पार्टिकल्स इन द जेजनम पार्ट ना आफ्टर द जेजनम द फूड दैट हैज नॉट बीन एब्जॉर्ब नाउ विल एंटर इन द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द स्मॉल इंडेस्टाइन वुड बी कॉल्ड एज द इलियम ओके नाउ द थर्ड आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट थर्ड दैट इज इलियम so ilium absorbs the non absorbed particles from the jejunum so some particles that are not uh, that ha that have not been absorbed in the middle part so those particles those food particles will be absorbed in the last part that is the ilium okay so it absorbs ilium it absorbs the it absorbs the non absorbed particles from jejunum non absorb particles from this is jejunum so this is how the digestion process take place okay so this is all about the small intestine now one more interesting uh, thing let me tell you about the small intestine this is small intestine uh, is in very small space here but do you know the length of the small intestine the length of the small intestine it is around 7.5 meter long your small intestine is around 7.5 meter long but it is highly coiled here and just uh, in a very small space okay it occupies a very small space in your in your in your body and it is very uh, very lengthy you can just imagine 7.5 meter long it is okay so you can write here the interesting fact about this small intestine small intestine is 7.5 meter long small intestine is 7.5 meter long highly coiled in a small space highly coiled and occupies a very small space highly coiled in a very small space okay so this is an interesting fact about the small intestine okay so that's all for today would we'll be discussing some other topics of this chapter that is nutrition in plants currently in progress would we'll be discussing the remaining uh, part that is we would be discussing about in the next part we will be discussing about the gall bladder that liver pancreas and the large intestine so these things are to be discussed in the next video uh, so stay tuned keep watching thank you have a good day